Are you a student there or are you alumni? Excuse me? Oh, you want to know how I felt about the movie Saw Burn? Here we go. The rating, we're going we gonna to start off with the rating. Uh, a four. It was only three people in there. Now, I went at 1250, but I should have took, I should have, I should have had a damn cue right then. I guess that's one of them movies that ain't for everybody, like movies that don't come with subtitles or some shit. That movie had me blown because the first 30 minutes, I had to slowly come to the realization that Oliver Quick was actually a fucking student at the college. I'm like, bitch, I thought you was alumni. Are you a student there or are you alumni? Later on in the movie, he went and put that swag on. I said, oh, okay. The movie was slow. I fell asleep twice and was struggling to stay up, waiting for some shit that I felt was thrilling to happen. And it never fucking happened. Oliver was doing some weird ass shit. And when we say... We like him nasty. We don't like him nasty like that. Like that outside shit that was going on. We don't like him nasty like that. That was too much. That was that was too nasty. Too damn nasty. And if they said this was a psychological thriller, goddamn it, I'd have had to write in to somebody. If I'd have paid $7.21 for this, I wouldn't have tripped. But if I was, if I would have went to like on a regular day and saw that movie. I would be pissed. I would feel like I wasted my money. For $6, I feel like, okay. I mean, people said Marvel was bad. I ain't see it. Because if enough people say that it's bad, I'm not going to see it. I'm not finna go see a movie or try to prove you wrong, no. If all of y'all saying the movie ain't good, that movie is not good. I would have rather saw Trolls. I was sleepy. Please in the comments there. My mouth is agape. What a feast for the eyes and, and a completely unpredictable story. And then we got Neo. Soul Barn was probably one of the worst movies I have watched this year. The script sucks and the film struggled to find any direction. Not to mention the countless strange scenes that made absolutely no sense. There are better ways to go down the psychological route and show obsession. And this film did the exact opposite. If it was a psychological thriller, hell fuck no. If this was supposed to be a... It just said thriller. But if this was supposed to be a psychological thriller, I'd get a movie or two. And only because the actors were good. And was it Obsession? It looked like a plan to me. It was like the actors tried to make it better and it just... It didn't work. You read this script and was like, okay, I'll do that. I mean, I, if you an actor, I, I guess. I guess you get into that. I guess. I don't know. I ain't never said that no movie was inappropriate. But that movie, that was... I'm like, oh, okay. And why are we doing this? I said, I should have brought my damn earbuds. I, I ain't seen no movie... I haven't seen no movie that bad, in my opinion, in a very long time. The director, like, uh, sir... Ma'am, I don't even know who the hell the damn director was. I was like, baby, listen. There is help that you can get. You had to have been on something to, to write a script like that. It was so disorderly, in my opinion. I was like, are y'all trying to confuse? If the movie was, was to confuse you, it did a good job. Would I recommend seeing that movie? No. But am I going to tell you not to see that movie? No. Ooh. Thank y'all for asking me about it because I really had that. I really had that on my heart and I really needed to get that out. So I thank y'all. I'll see y'all next time.